Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, I'm going to just add a uh, little more to the uh, information of the new antenna that I am testing. So this is, of course, the famous K180WLA. It's a wideband antenna. It receives from 100 kilohertz all the way up to 180 megahertz. Now, um, a lot of you have been saying, well, you must have a defective antenna because I have one and it works well. And of course, I, um, when, when something bad happens or when it doesn't work right, the first thing you think about is, you know, could it be defective or not? Of course, it's part of, you know, the tests and everything. And one of the first things that I noticed is that um, I found a few people on the web that I've tested it and wrote their own comments on it and review. And what comes out is exactly what I'm e experiencing here. So what I have is working fine. It's just very crappy in the way that it was designed in the amplifier. Uh, and so what happens is if you live in a very uh, quiet environment where FM stations are weak or you know you, not very strong, where uh, the RF environment around you isn't too bad, this antenna probably works fine in that type of environment. But when you actually put it in my environment, and this is very important to understand, if you live in a big city, uh, don't buy this. I don't think it's going to be working well. But if you live you know, out in the suburbs far away from uh, the powerful FM transmitters, or even if you live, you know, uh, in, in rural areas, this actually might be interesting, but it would need to be tested in that type of environment uh, without any tests for me on the environment of, you know, going somewhere where there's like almost no signals. Um, it's difficult for me to actually test this uh, to see if it actually works better when that happens. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't understand of my location also is the fact that the, uh, there's very powerful FM transmitters um, on the FM scan. Uh, I remember a few a couple of years ago somebody mentioning that you know he was uh, surprised by the number of radios I have that have FM breakthrough. And the thing is, is that when you looked at fmscan.org, which tells you a lot of information about the power from the stations and where they're located and so on, it turns out, and actually that person was extremely amazed at the amount of RF FM power signals here. You know, here, if you have a crappy FM radio, uh, FM receiver, it is overloaded by all the stations and it's almost difficult to tune uh it's how powerful these signals are in montreal so that is playing against me on this antenna probably because that's why i got breakthrough everywhere now the higher i go in frequency the less breakthrough i get and when i get to the vhf range of you know uh, air band and above um i get kind of regular reception of vhf signals in general so it is definitely in uh, an antenna that's uh, really really uh, not capable of dealing with the strong signals here the amplifier is probably overloaded terribly so it renders you know yesterday i heard barely heard voice of turkey 9830 with it while the um, mla 30 was giving me an excellent signal and the reason why well uh, close to it, first of all, was a very, very strong, spurious signal from an FM station here in Montreal. And also, because of that, it uh, is less sensitive. The sensitivity of the amplifier goes down uh, because it's overloaded totally. So, um, it is not that it's broken. It's not that it is defective. It is just a bad antenna to have in a very high FM single environment and that's it so i can't recommend this and i don't think anybody should buy it and if if your main goal anyways is to listen to shortwave uh mla 30 is the way to go that's the one that works well and this one um i'm testing it right now for its vhf capabilities um i'll be taking it down and trying to do different things and having somewhat of a portable portable uh, side of using it 
see if I can um, somewhat use it at you know VHF at least. Uh, we'll see, anyways, and um, that will be, of course, all of those tests will be on the VHF UHF channel. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and of course, if you have questions, just ask.